Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Aiden, from Cartoon Apocalypse, and welcome back to another episode of Miraculous Ladybug News. Uh, in case you weren't aware, yesterday we got a new trailer, and I made a video on that yesterday, talking about all of the new clips in that trailer, and sort of like, my thoughts on them. So you can go check that video out. Um, <laughs> But uh, we have a new trailer out today, which is honest, I knew that we were gonna be getting another trailer cause like, why wouldn't we? But it's just, it's so soon. It's like one day after we got the previous one, or I guess technically the previous one came out two days ago, but uh, anyway, um, yeah, another new trailer is out. Now I would love to show you the new trailer, but I cannot because this trailer is from the Miraculous YouTube channel and they will copyright anything because it is officially on their channel now. So. Uh, I cannot show you that trailer in this video, so unfortunately you're going to have to go to the description or the uh, pinned comment and then find that link there, assuming you haven't already seen it. So uh, yeah, links are there for you. Uh, go check that out and then come back right here. But before we talk about the trailer, <laughs> we also got a new synopsis, which I feel like could help our understanding of this trailer, so I'm going to read that off beforehand. If you don't care about the synopsis and just want the uh, trailer analysis, then I will have time codes down in the description for you to click around. As always, if you want to stay updated on all of the news, you can go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more content similar to this because I will update you whenever we hear new news. But uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and hop right in to this new synopsis. So this synopsis comes from TF1. Uh, now, the website in the synopsis was originally in French, so I just Google translated it to English. So if any of this is wrong, I apologize. That's just, it's not my fault, it's Google's. This is a dream opportunity for the group of high school friends to strengthen their ties, but also for Marina and Adrian to get closer since, against all odds, Gabriel Agreste has accepted that his son take part in this trip. It must be said that Gabriel also planned to go secretly to New York because he was particularly interested in an inaugural exhibition of a precious jewel, a necklace bearing an eagle's claw that Lafayette would have offered to George Washington as a sign of friendship between France and the United States. A jewel which could be endowed with powers coveted by Hawk Moth. And believe it or not, that whole paragraph was only two sentences. So I don't know if that says something about um, French sentences, but I'm just saying, they definitely could have broken it up a little bit better. From the plane, the school children witnessed the spectacular intervention of four illustrious superheroes including Night Owl to neutralize a terrible villainous techno pirate who has seized the reactor. And the adventures have only just begun. Ladybug and Cat Noir will join forces with the superheroes to defend peace in New York and preserve the Statue of Liberty. And yes, I do realize that I called the Statue of Liberty the Eiffel Tower in yesterday's video. I apologize. I don't know. I think it was that Eiffel Tower scene which got my mind thinking of just saying the Eiffel Tower. And I'm so used to just saying the Eiffel Tower. So uh, I'm sorry. I know that because literally all of the comments were on that. So sorry. <laughs> But yeah, that was the new synopsis. Some of it was sort of similar and some of it was just reworded, but there is a couple extra things in here. Like there's a little bit of lore with the Eagle's Claw. And I think the most important thing is like Techno Pirate is seizing a reactor, which maybe could allow him to like power up or something like that. But yeah, I just wanted to put this on here as a bit of a refresher because then now we can go into this promo and sort of be like, okay, so maybe this is this situation, etc. So like I said earlier, if you have not seen the promo, I can't show it in this video, so go check it out at the link in the description or at the pinned comment. And I am only going to show new clips, so if there's like, if you're like, hey, you missed a couple clips, I already talked about it in the previous video, so go check that out. So the first new shot is just a cool little shot of New York Street, I guess? There's some buildings in the background, and you can see a couple, like, paintings, like, I, I don't know, those feel like weird billboards, like, why is the Mona Lisa on a billboard? I don't know, that's probably a good question, but nobody is asking it. But anyway, that's not really the important part here. I don't even know if there is an important part, it's just illustrating that they're in New York, so it, I don't know, it's just cool to see some of these big tall buildings, because that's not really something we see in Miraculous. Next we see Marina and Alia looking out outside of the bus that they're in. Now, you could argue that this is technically the same clip, I'm just separating it because there's a transition between the two. Not really like a visual transition, but like, you know, there's a difference between just looking at the scenery and looking at characters. 
And then we can also see Alex in the background. I don't really think there's anything too important here. It's just Marinette and Alia being like, whoa, we're in New York. Take a look at that. Next, we have a new clip of this new character. Now, I don't know if you remember her from the previous trailer, but she is the one who sort of looks like an alien when she's in her superhero form because she has like that third eye. And I don't know, it's really cool, but like, it's just so like, I don't know. I don't know like what the theme for the New York heroes is because it's just sort of like, like a DC or Marvel like league where it's just like all heroes of all different kinds of types and you know, just thrown together. But like Miraculous, I think of like, okay, so the Miraculouses, they're all very similar because you know, there's Ladybug, Cat Noir, but they all have like some sort of jewelry that you have to put on and it's all very similar. It's just, you know, themed, but like, I don't know. I don't really see any theme between the New York heroes. So I don't know really how that fits into the Miraculous universe. I don't know. Maybe there's no way it fits in. I just thought I'd put that out there because I think it's interesting. But anyway, back to this character. This is the first shot of her that we have seen that she's not in her superpower form. Now we did actually have a previous image of her when she was in her development stage, released by Thomas, I think, on his Twitter. Uh, so we did sort of know what she looked like, but now this is the first time that we are seeing her officially in the New York special. And she's peeking around the corner, not much we can really tell from this. Next, we have a clip of the Sparrow riding on top of a bus. It is unclear if this is... I don't think I could figure out if this is the bus that Ollie and Marinette are on right now. It'd be pretty cool if it was, but uh, I, I don't know, I don't think. Like, I'm just trying to look at the background and I don't think there's any way to really tell. So, I mean, it's possible. This is by far the best shot of Sparrow that we have. It's just like a full body action kind of shot. He's not like moving and so... Yeah, it's just really cool. I really like Sparrow's design. So next, this shot is probably one of the more interesting shots that I'm gonna show off today, and it is of Gabriel calling out Nuru. At least I assume it's Nuru. It could be a different Kwame because we don't actually see the Kwame yet, but my guess is it's Nuru. Now the thing that makes this really important is what Gabriel is wearing because I'm willing to bet that that is the Eagle's Claw and so uh, now that Hawkmoth has it, he can do something with it because according to the synopsis, Hawkmoth with this could like empower it or something like that. I don't know entirely what that would look like, but he is going to do something with that claw and it's possibly going to be bad. Next we see this new character and it sort of looks like she's beginning to transform into like her alien form. I don't know if that's the right word, but that's just what I'm going to call it for now. Now we see the opening of her third eye and I just think, I don't know, it's really cool with all the colors and the lights and stuff. Like, I wonder if she's gonna have a transformation scene because that would look pretty cool, I think. Next shot is of Sparrow looking up at what, uh, at something that sort of looks like the moon, although I don't know if it's the moon. It may be like a giant light that Techno Pirate is creating and maybe it's going to like, I don't know, expand so big that it engulfs the earth or something like that. And Sparrow does have a skateboard. I don't know if, I mean, it definitely is significant, but uh, I just thought I'd point it out. There's nothing we can really like assume from it right now. Like, oh, he used the skateboard to get where he is, like obviously, but uh, <laughs> there's nothing else we could really tell right now. We have another new shot of the Eiffel Tower. I don't really think there's any significance here. It just is, is a night version of the Eiffel Tower. Now this shot is pretty cool because we see two new heroes and uh, we haven't, uh, actually that's not entirely true. We've seen the lady on the left, the ice lady, but we haven't seen the person on the right. And honestly, I don't really like, the person on the right sort of looks like an electric -y kind of person, like, oh, I can shoot bolts of lightning or something like that. And then the ice person, obviously, uh, I would think has something to do with ice or just like freezing things in general, or like making things cold or whatever, snow something, I don't know. And then we also see Night Owl and Majestia here, and then a helicopter in the back, which maybe has Sparrow. I don't know, maybe it's the US government because it has a, a US flag on it, and I think it says U United States something of America maybe. So yeah, I don't know, this is probably close to the climax when all the heroes are gathering to try to take out Techno Pirate. Next, we have a shot of the of the alien girl and uh, and this new girl that we haven't seen before. Now, I'm going to bring up this image that we got, uh, I don't know, a couple months ago. And my guess is the character to the right is the same character uh, to the right in this promo. Now, I don't know what power she had, like, 
my guess would be it would be something with the eagle's claw right because the character to the right has wings and stuff like that so you would think that it would be something like that but i don't know for sure like it's not really clear at this point in time and the two characters one from the image and the one from the promo they could be unrelated it's just my guess that they are the same person but again since the image people are blacked out we can't really tell but yeah, I think this just goes to show you how many characters and superheroes are going to be introduced in this New York special. Like, it is just insane how many there are. So the next scene is this, I, uh, I don't know who he is, someone in a purple slash pink uh, suit is opening up the door and telling the kids, specifically Nino and Alia, I mean, there's also another one, another guy there who's just probably a background character to, to like get out. But, um, I don't know, the guy who's opening the door, he looks so familiar, like, I could have sworn I've seen him before somewhere, like, I don't know, I, I don't know, just something with the face, like, that face reminds me of someone, but I don't know who it is, <laughs> like, it's, it's been itching at my mind this entire time, like, where do I know this guy from, because obviously it's not from Miraculous, I don't think we've seen this person in Miraculous at all, but he just reminds me of someone from another show or i don't know i doubt it's someone from real life but uh yeah let me know if you recognize this character from somewhere else and uh let me know down in the comments now this next scene is hawk Moth dropping down into this museum is what it appears to be like and you would think that this would be him stealing the eagle's claw but there's already quite a lot of destruction here so i don't know if this is him coming back for something or if that if all that destruction is just from him like breaking the ceiling it might be I, I mean that might be a pretty good guess but like that's a lot of rubble for just breaking down the ceiling you know but anyway my guess is that this scene has something to do with hawk moth and the eagle's claw i don't know what order of events it will take place in but that's just my guess Next scene, we have the alien person holding out her hand. I don't know for what reason, but she is. It is sort of implied with this trailer that this next scene, Marinette like looking surprised and then suddenly like coming on with a smile. It's implied that the, that the hand extension and like Marinette is connected. I don't know if it is because promos and trailers are meant to be deceiving, but if it is, then that would mean that Marinette revealed her identity to these heroes, or at least this one specific hero, which could be interesting. Like, my guess is in the Shanghai special, Marinette will have to do that with Rei, but I don't know if she will do that in the New York special. There is a possibility though, but just keep in mind that trailers are meant to be deceiving, so it's not 100% confirmed yet. Next we have Sparrow being bombarded with a bunch of missiles uh, and Ladybug comes in to help save him. And so I guess this sort of clarifies, assuming that they're the same missiles, it's, I think it's it's harder to see the missiles in this one, so I can't really tell. But my guess is, from the previous promo, when uh, the Sparrow was like riding on a missile, my guess is they were enemy missiles, but I, I guess I technically don't know, but that's just my guess based on this. And then the final thing I wanted to mention was this new logo. Even though it's not really important, it is sort of illustrating the fact that Techno Pirate is so, like Techno Pirate from the last promo was seen as like sort of this like neon blue kind of person, and I think that's what this um, this logo is sort of illustrating. Like, yeah, it's a neon Techno Piratey guy. But yeah, that was it for this trailer. If you did enjoy, you can go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more content similar to this. I will see you. Uh, in a future video. I don't know uh, when that may be. That might be later today. That might be tomorrow. I'm, are we done with the with the trailers? Probably not. There's probably going to be one more, if not two more, because like you have to remember that uh, Disney Channel France has not released uh, a trailer yet, I don't think. Well, they've released some trailers, but they haven't included any new clips, so I guess we'll see on that regard. But I, I find it hard to believe that these are the only ones. But okay, then again, it could just be a trailer with the same old clips. So I guess we'll just see what happens. I don't know. But uh, yeah, uh, if you did enjoy, you can leave a like and subscribe for more content with this. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. My talents go way beyond sniffing out cheese, young man.